Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over the Florida Panthers and what they have to do with the Montreal Canadiens. As most of you may know, the Montreal Canadiens hold Florida Panthers' first overall pick in the 2023 draft. And this pick is somehow unprotected, which means there's no conditions and no matter where it lands, it's our pick. Just a reminder from where we got this pick from, we got this in the Ben Chirot trade at the trade deadline. We traded Ben Chirot to the Florida Panthers, and in return, we got a first overall pick, Ty Smilanik, I may have just butchered that, and a couple other uh, pieces in the package as well. So, you may be thinking, well, it doesn't really matter, like it's a first round pick, but it's going to be high up in, the, in the, the high 20s, maybe even the low 30s, right? Because Florida's always been a powerhouse these past couple years. There's no reason they don't make the playoffs. That's just it, right? End of story. But as a Habs fan, it is my duty to think of everything possible that is going to happen to this team. Even if it's the most outrageous thing, I have to be the most optimistic because, you know, it's the Habs. We got, we got to think of every possibility. So with that being said, I'm going to go out and say that the Florida Panthers don't make the playoffs. And if that happens... The Habs are in luck because we have their pick unprotected. And who knows, maybe their pick somehow wins the lottery and it's, it's a top 10 pick. At the end of the day, that's the best case scenario. It's very unlikely, but there's still always the chance. And let me tell you why. To start off, they made this huge blockbuster trade in the summer. And that was Matthew Kachuk for Johnny Huberdeau and Mackenzie Weger. I don't know, I still pref would prefer to have Huberto and Uyghur on my team than Matthew Kachuk, but that's just me. So I think the Flames won this one. But yeah, they traded away Huberto and Mackenzie Uyghur and got Matthew Kachuk in return. I personally don't see the reason for this. Like, you could argue maybe like one for one Huberto for Kachuk. I still may take Huberto at the end of the day. Plus, his chemistry with, with, um, with Barkov was just so great. And having Uyghur on that back end, he's a reliable defense I mean, he, he's going he's gonna to do a better job than not having him there. So I don't know. I just don't see the point of this trade. I think it left a big hole in their defensive lineup. And I don't know. It may have weakened their, their forward line as well. The Florida Panthers had no troubles scoring last year. All their games had like huge, lead, had huge uh, scoring. If it was seven goals, six goals, all that stuff, right? So they weakened. I mean, I'm going to say they weakened their offense. But they also weakened their defense. And their defense was definitely the reason they would lose games. So I don't see the point in this. So yeah, anyways, that's reason number one why I think they're a little weaker this year. Now, reason number two, it's not a full like long-term thing. But as of right now, Aaron Ekblad is injured. He's on injury, the injury reserve list. And you know what? This is great for Habs fans, but it sucks for me because I have him on my fantasy team. So that, that's, a really, that, that's hitting me really hard right now. But at the end of the day, he's out minimum until mid-November. So he's literally their best defense he's a huge he plays a huge role on this team and having him out is not going to benefit the florida panthers at all and on top of that montour is out and he's another defense so their defensive lineup looks like cheeks let me tell you that not to mention they're also missing anthony duclair for a bit and bobrovsky i don't know he could be very on and off if he returns back to his 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 past two years where he was not great this florida team could hit an all-time low very soon now the final reason why i think they may miss the playoffs is because the east specifically the atlantic um division is just so strong right now sure there's some teams like toronto or tampa who haven't started very strong so is ottawa i don't know if ottawa is going to make the playoffs but i do think all those three teams will bounce back i think all, i think toronto and i think tampa will make the playoffs i think those were a given but there's also the addition of the Detroit Red Wings who have been playing amazing to start this season. Now, if the Detroit Red Wings keep this up, maybe they scratch a wild card spot. It's very unlikely, but who knows? They made a lot of additions this offseason and they're looking kind of good. Even the Boston Bruins are playing out of their minds right now, and that's with the absence of Brad Marchand and McAvoy. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is that Florida weakened their team. Their defensive line is the weakest in the league right now. There's no question. And their goalies are always a wild card. You don't know if they're going to pop off or be completely completely cheeks, right? And the, the East Division, specifically the Atlantic Division, is out of their mind strong and very competitive right now. 
So who knows if they have a really rough mid season or end of season, they may not make the playoffs. And that's the ultimate goal for the Habs. Like I said, to start this video, it probably won't happen. But me putting everything together kind of makes this illusion that it might actually happen. So I'm going to stick with that. And I hope it does happen for the sake of the Montreal Canadiens. Anyways, if you did enjoy this video, don't be afraid to like, comment, subscribe. And with that being said, I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Take care.